Hey, this is Russell Whitney with Expert Insider, where I interview experts and just give you some of the raw information that you wanna know about becoming an entrepreneur. Today, I'm with TJ Roll Letter, which means rolling in the cash through the direct mail and ends with a letter. I love that. Direct mail got into it in 1989, over 150 million in sales through direct mail. Send a mail right to the home, and uh, he's known as the Blue Jeans Millionaire. I'm so privileged to have Mr. TJ Rolletter on here. Great to have you here for the Thank show. You. Thank you. Um, I just want to get right down to it, TJ. Tell us a little bit about how did you get into direct mail, and what what did you do before direct mail? Well, before that, I worked a bunch of meaningless jobs, factory work, oil field, construction. I dropped out of school at 16. I uh, went to work in the oil field in South Central Kansas, uh, that state that everybody flies over at least once in their <laughs> life. And, uh, and um, I hated school, had a drug problem, had a drinking problem. I cleaned all that up mm. in my early 20s. And, um, but, uh, but then here I was. I, I, didn't have a college uh, degree and um, got into sales. So that's, that, that's what really changed my life more than anything, more than, well, besides the, 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 right. drug, the drugs and the alcohol. But, but by the time I was 21, I got, I got through all of that. Um, so but, you, got, you got clean at 21? Yeah, and, and I got my first sales job at 23 all because right. I wasn't qualified to do anything else. And I had a friend of mine that hired me, he was a sales manager, mm -hmm. and he hired me and he taught me how to sell. And from that point forward, I started my own business. It uh, wasn't much of anything. A little carpet cleaning company. I nice. beat up old van, <laughs> beat up equipment, but, but I knew how to sell. You had the I white knew. van? I had the white van. <laughs> and uh, I knew how to sell. And that's, that's the bottom line. And okay. so then um, met my wife. She was working as a cashier uh, at a filling station making minimum wage. And... Um, her and I, a year after we met, we were already married by that time. Wow. We, 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 we fell in love fast, and we've been together ever since, 30 years. Awesome. Um, That's huge. So um, we started a little direct, re uh, we call it mail order back then. It wasn't even direct response marketing. You right. know, uh, that They didn't have the internet or anything right. like that. Uh, started running space ads in magazines, little tiny ads. And then we um, met a consultant, um, uh, Russ von Holscher, he helped us get into direct mail. So that was, um, Eileen and I, when we met Russ, we were bringing in about 16000 a month mm -hmm. just off of our little space ads. We were pyramiding our profits, putting them back into more space ads. And um, then Russ, uh, just through the direct mail, we went from 16000 a month in gross sales, about 500 a day, to over a hundred thousand a week in sales. Wow! So, so over in nine months, 000 nine in, months in less than nine months. It, well, in about nine months, we were bringing in about a hundred grand a week in and, sales. And what was your margin, profit margin then? Well, we were putting a, we were putting all the money back into the company and uh, uh, to grow. Uh, yeah, it's hard to really say what the profit margin was, but. We bought brand new homes, drove brand new cars. Gotcha. We were spending it as fast as gotcha. it came in. We didn't, you know, we just. Right. Um, we we were just um, we didn't we didn't know how to appreciate money back then. Right. How old were you then? Again? Oh, I was uh, twenty eight. Twenty eight, and and I find a lot of entrepreneurs in the beginning get success exactly what you said. Don't know how to appreciate the money. Right? Did you have a struggle and downfall at that point a little bit? Oh, I've no? had a lot of I've had a lot okay. of struggling downfalls. Yeah. Uh, but um, mm -hmm. you know, new cars, new homes, bunch of frivolous stuff. I've got a. Ten thousand dollars sensory deprivation tank in my basement. You know, just, okay. just dumb stuff like that. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's like um, yeah, it's, it's if you ever seen the movie Altered States with William Hurt, it's just uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's some it's some new age toy. It's a, right. It's a non. It's a. It's just a. It's just with a stupid purchase of mine. Okay, so but an investment that was not something to generate any cash yeah, or right, okay right. gotcha so uh let's talk about this though is your drug problem because I, I mean that's a related story for me i had drug issues i you know uh went and hit rock rock rock, rock bottom and um what i found is i know a lot of addicts that have become super successful out there because it seems like we have a mind that's just out of control and a lot of times people want to numb it because it's so out of control 
And you could take that obsession away from the addiction and put your obsession into business right. and focus there. Right. And that's a way to get the that's outlet, That's exactly right? what I've done. Okay. That's exactly and what is I've that I fell in love with the it? business, got addicted to it. Right. Um, it's exciting. And, gotcha. Um, you know, the thrill of it all and, and uh, the complexity of it all. Right. And um, that's, that's it, man. I've lost, right. I lost at least a decade of my life. Not because I was stoned out of my mind, but right. because I was just so absorbed in the business um, mm -hmm. that all of a sudden a decade goes by. I'm not exaggerating either. I'm going like, what the hell happened? But I was so because into so it, into so the into it, learning yeah. everything I could. Spending, I spent over a million dollars on my own education <clears throat> right. uh, through various consultants and mm -hmm. coaching programs and seminars that I went to. And right. I've got 10,000 books at home and I've given away thousands of copies that I had before. So just right. hungry, could not learn enough. Right. I, I just, um, the more I learned, the hungrier I got. Right. The more I wanted to learn, the more money I spent on my own education. Right. So, uh, conservatively, over a million bucks I've spent just learning things. So, you took your addiction and turned it into a good thing. Uh, a yeah. great thing, really. Uh, I have. The only side effects are uh, my eye. No, I was going <laughs> to make some jokes about getting old. No, no, the only side effect is, um, um, you know, I. Um, I, I should have I should have been more balanced in my marriage and stuff like that. My wife stayed with me the first ten or fifteen years, and maybe she shouldn't have, because um, <laughs> you know, because I was just so absorbed in the business, nothing else right. mattered. Right, exactly. Um, you know, now I'm now I'm more balanced and uh, better husband, all that kind of and stuff. And I'd like to actually um, bring that up in talking about balance here. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs, I even know for myself, when I was focused in my business and really just putting my attention effort, dedication into that business, I found that I put my life on hold, my wife on hold, my family on right. hold. And even when I, I remember, even when I was in addiction, really, I put everybody on hold right. and I uh, didn't have that balance. And what do you think for success? I mean, okay, so you had it that way, addiction, boom, went into success and you focused on that, ignored other things in your life. Right. I do the same thing. Sometimes I get caught in it now. And I know other entrepreneurs. What would you give as a suggestion and advice to create and give the balance? Well, for me, it's just been um, learning not to be so egotistical for me. Okay. You know? Right. Um, there's a great book that uh, I would recommend to anybody. Yeah. Uh, you can edit this out if you want. But no. it's just called The Ego is the Enemy. And, um, and it's, it's, uh, it's a great book. But learning how to be more humble... And, ego is um, the enemy. Ego is the enemy. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't we don't edit anything out here on the <laughs> All show. Right. We All want right. to give everybody as much raw advice and information. So uh, no, be as I've, candid um, and give I've the information. Been you think that's great? I've been humbled and uh, part of the aging process too. Okay. You know, getting older, you get you get, you mellow out a little bit. Yeah, and I found that a lot with some of my mentors that are a little wiser, older than me, as they were, you know, so addicted to their business. And that's all they focused on. But do you believe that you can do this with the proper balance? Because oh, absolutely. I'm doing do. it now. Okay, doing you're doing it now. It now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, what about in the beginning stages where you're learning and trying to consume as much and implement yeah. at the same time? Because now you kind of got it on a system, right? Right. Well, sure. Absolutely. And back then, if anybody would have told me, hey, you need to balance yourself out a little more or whatever, I would have, I would have probably given it lip service. Right. I, I was obsessed <laughs> with the business. I right. was just obsessed with it. Right. And um, to where it was the most important thing in my life, and still is top three most important things in my okay. life. Still, what's your number one? Uh, well, my marriage has to be number one. For number me. two. Um, number one. Well, number two is um, it's. I care about three things. All all I care about is three things. Okay. And, and I and I know this is going to sound crazy, but uh, my marriage, my business, and my health. Those are the only things I really care about. Okay. And but through the business. I'm able to um, to help a lot of people, and I'm able to uh, you know. So I'm not. It's not just about the money and all that kind of stuff. I'm really right. trying to make an impact, trying to make a difference in other people's lives. All right. Um, you know the um, uh, my employees and and right. my joint venture partners and the people that I meet. I I try to I try to bring as much value as I can. Okay, gotcha. I'm focused on that. Awesome. Um, this is Russell Whitney. You're watching Expert Insider, and in the next episode. I'm going to talk with TJ a little bit more on his direct mail and getting that balance for those of you that are married, have a girlfriend looking to. I think the balance is really, really important. I'd like some of that advice for myself. Uh, stay tuned.